I'm Stephen Page from Page Proven Family and Fertility Lawyers. And I'm talking to you today about how my infertility journey shaped what I do. When I was young, certainly younger than I am now, in my early 20s, my then wife and I discovered that we were infertile. Infertility is a very common condition. It affects one in six Australian couples. It is the third most common disease uh, after uh, cancer and heart conditions. We had an issue because my then wife had endometriosis. And so we went off to her specialist who told us bluntly that the cure for her endometriosis was to start now, to have children now. Otherwise, it may never happen. We sat there with our jaws open and I said, we're broke. We're in our early 20s. Uh, we want to be like everyone else and get a house and then have children. And the doctor then uh, said, well, uh, I'm not a financial planner, I'm a doctor. And it was like a slap across the chops. It really was um, a shocking moment. And we were told there were some alternatives. They weren't very good. So we said, okay, well, we better do it. We were faced with this reality and we started to try. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. We were living by the book. My then wife said to me, maybe you've got the problem. And I said, I haven't got the problem. You've got the problem. We know you've got endometriosis. I'm fine. How do you know you're fine? I said, I'm fine. She said, we should, we should get your sperm checked. I said, why do we need to get my sperm checked? You, you've got endometriosis. She said, but checking will determine whether or not you're okay. And I said, I've got 100% Aussie super gold sperm. Can you believe this rubbish that I said? But nevertheless, I said it. How do you know? Because I know, you know, suddenly I was the big man saying this. And anyway, three months went past. We were still trying, nothing worked. And I then got checked. And lo and behold, I did not have 100% Aussie super gold sperm. I had slow swimmers. This was an absolute kick in the guts to me. Ever since the age of four or five, I knew I wanted to become a father. It had always been the case of when, not if, I would become a dad. But when I was confronted with this news, the tables were turned. Suddenly it was if, not when. I started to do really strange stuff. I started to pray. I wasn't particularly religious. I started to look at ceilings and say, I look at a cornice, particularly in the corner of a cornice and say, say to myself, God, why have you punished me so? How come everyone else can have children? Pop them out one, two, three, but not me. How come I miss out? I, I thought it was particularly cruel. It was a truly an awful period. We got lucky. We had classic infertility. It took us two years to get there, but we got lucky. We didn't have to do IVF. So what I'm saying to you is, I don't know about any journey you may go through with infertility. I've been through mine. And I'm telling you this today because it's painful. It's one of the most painful things that I've ever been through in my life. I am now privileged with children, I, it is amazing to have children. Uh, they'll change your life forever. But I've been there, done that, and I love helping people have children. It's the right of everyone in my view who wants to have a child to become a parent. And that's what I do day in, day out in my business.